Hi everyone! Today I'll be sharing how I am making essential oil aromatherapy bath bombs in my studio. My name is Simona and welcome to Rosalka Soap Studio. I start by measuring the baking soda and for your interest I am going to be leaving my full recipe down in the description below. So once the baking soda is measured I sift it to avoid any clumps and continue adding my ingredients and sifting them. Next come Epsom salts or magnesium sulfate and since the granules are quite big I always blend them down into a powdery consistency. While you're watching this process now, I would like to thank you to all my subscribers. I reached my first milestone this time. I am over 100 subscribers, so thank you all. I really appreciate it. At this moment in time, I prepare my um, citric acid as well, grinding it to the icing sugar about the type of consistency but I do not add it to my um, dry ingredients as yet I keep it for later I follow a very simple three-step procedure while making my bath bombs mix the dry ingredients add liquid ingredients and mix everything to incorporate and add citric acid. citric acid is fully incorporated into the mix, I scrape the sides and the bottom making sure there are no clumps or any uncolored spots and check for texture. It sticks together when dropped and doesn't stick on the gloves. For the molding I loosely pack the prepared powder, um, check that I add enough of the powder to fit the mold and gently press. One done, 11 more to go. bath bombs dry out for at least 24 maybe to 48 hours and for this design I am going to be painting um, gold mica just to bring out elegance
let's do the floating test. Um, I do not add any SLSA into my bath bombs, just polysorbate, so it's not a bubbling bath bomb, but pure indulgence, Epsom salt, coconut oil, aromatherapy, essential oils, luxurious bath bomb. Thanks for watching and visiting my studio. I'll see you next time.